This video is brought to you by the following sponsors. Number one, read the line. You will behold the glory of my sacred wood. That's not him. Okay. Number two, read the line. You will behold the glory of my sacred wood. Absolutely not. Okay. Number three. You will behold the glory of my sacred wood. That's him. Every year, one in five gamers is accosted by an elf. We're tired of elves. Hey guys, this is Pixie Stixie from lorehound.com. I'm here on the PTR on the first day of testing for the Ruby Sanctum, but I actually wanted to check out a couple of the other features. So uh, we all know that there's a lot of new social features going in to play soon. So uh, let's take a look at a couple of those. All right, I'm going to bring up my social tab here. And um, I have no friends right now. Boo-hoo. But hopefully we can change that here. OK. So um, here's friends list. You have an ignore list like usual and a pending list, so that's kind of new. All right, under friends, you can go to add friend, and it brings up this menu telling you if you want to add someone with a real ID code. That's someone you know and trust in real life, and you can chat with them in the game and across platforms. So um, that's a new feature through Battle.net. And then here also you can add, um, just like usual, you can also add an in-game friend who um, you play with and, and that sort of thing, but you don't necessarily want them to know who you really are or to be able to contact you in other games and that sort of thing. So, okay, let's continue. So you can add either an email address if you have a real ID or you can add their character name. So. Um, actually, I'm not sure of anyone who is online right now, so I'm going to just add one of these random people in the chat. Looking for groups, so all right, I'm going to add that person. And here they are. They're an Orgrimmar, level 80 Death Knight. Uh, shows them as green, and that's something that's new too here under status you can set yourself as either available, away, or busy. And also you can set a, um, a status for yourself. So let's see, I'll stick in. Checking out social options for the win. Yeah. All right. Your broadcast has been set to checking out social options for the win. So. Um, that's basically all that is, so. But it's something fun and a little different, and, um, like I said, once you have added someone with their real ID, you can communicate with them cross-game, cross-faction, cross-server, so that is something I'm really looking forward to. So let's go ahead and try adding someone. All right. Um, I know a couple of my fellow lore hounds are on, so let's try Juggy Knots. Friends must be part of your alliance. All right. So that still holds true because he is probably playing on alliance and I am playing on horde. Okay. So let's try adding instead Amaterra. Okay. That worked level 80 rogue. He is in Orgrimmar, and this little green dot by his name indicates that he is available. All right, guys, so what do you think of these new options? Um, pretty cool. I like them. Hopefully we'll uh, get to see them a little bit more. Right now they still seem a little buggy, but um, we'll see how they go. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I'm going to keep on trying to find some cool things to show you guys so stick around at lorehound.com and we'll have more for you thanks bye